We're really lucky in the Highlands of Scotland. We've got really long summer evenings and that means we can get up into the hills after work. So back in June, we had this amazing spell of weather, decided to go up Ben A and follow the ridge back towards Kinlochew through the Black Carls. I went out with Doug Bartholomew, who is the Ben A National Nature Reserve Manager and also a keen hill runner, so the perfect guide for this trip. It goes without saying that if you are planning to do this route yourself, then you should check the forecast, wear good boots and clothing, and be aware that there are some exposed sections where scrambling is required, so be prepared for that. The plan was to go up from the Cairn Anthony car park in Glen Torridon, up onto the main ridge, and then follow this back towards Kinlochew, past the Black Carls, hopefully timing it for sunset. We then descend from Craig Dew into a fragment of the ancient Caledonian pine forest. Bene is famous for this ancient pine woods, which has been growing here for the last 8,000 years since the last glacial period, and is a really important woodland habitat, much of which we've lost from the highlands. It was recognised in 1951 as the first national nature reserve in the whole of the UK to protect and enhance this habitat. We started our route from the Ken Anthony car park next to this plantation and the path climbs pretty much straight away out the car park. It's a good hill path and you get great views back down into Glen Torridon. Once you get into the quarry the path starts to become quite steep and you get quite a lot of loose material. But once you get through that bit of a slog, you get up and get first amazing views down into Glen Torridon. From here, it leaves a steep, rocky path up to the main ridge. Most of the vegetation has gone by this point, and we've just got this quartzite scree. As we get up to the ridge, there's a trig point. This isn't actually the summit of any of the peaks. Um, we took a moment here just to look out west to see some of the other peaks on the Bene Ridge and Leotach, but we were going to head east and this would allow us to take in Spidian Corinaclach, which is one of the Munros on the Bene Ridge, which is just a short trip further on from where you meet the main ridge. We carried on past this summit and the route's very rocky, but it's good fun and you can easily pick a route if you're walking or if you're running. It's this very, very pale rock, Cambrian quartzite, which was formed by white sands 540 million years ago under a tropical sea. And it gives it this very pale colour, which sometimes can look a bit like snow from a distance. In the last two and a half million years, though, it's been sculpted by glaciers and erosion to form these amazing ridges, corries and peaks. The final section is the most technical, but also probably the most spectacular through the Black Carls. It's a section of broken ridge with pinnacles and very rough rock. There are some short exposed sections and some scrambling is required, but you can scramble lower down to avoid some of the steeper sections if you want to. After the scrambling sections, the ridge becomes quite narrow and that gives you amazing views off to both sides. And on a day like today, we were really, really lucky.
descending down from the last peak, we come down into the ancient woodlands of the Alta Heron. Nature Scott manages this as a national nature reserve and they're working to expand these fragments of ancient woodland and connect them together to make the area more robust and biodiverse and resilient to change in the future. It was a hot day in June, even up on the top of the Munros, so we were delighted to get down to the river and this ended one of the most spectacular days in the hills I've ever had.